Yeah, I'm back. That's what's up. I'm glad you guys can stay. You know what I'm saying? Well, welcome back to another episode of Locked Out Men Podcast. The podcast just don't stop. The Truckers Podcast, because, you know, I do it for you guys. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you guys watching and listening and all that good stuff. Yo, if you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button for more content like this. And you know when you hit that all button, you know when I go live, it'll automatically bring you in. Well, welcome to the Lockout Men podcast show. I am your host, Lockout Men, and this is an episode of MTC. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am keeping it going for you guys because this is what you guys like. You say, yo, locked out. I want you to call this company. I want you to call that company. But I'm going to do it. But I need you guys to help me. You got to understand this stuff ain't free. A lot of research, a lot of time, a lot of effort goes into goes into vetting these companies. I'm just letting you know. So why don't you hook a brother up with some coffee? in the coffee app which is in the description below or the cash app which is a lot easier which is dollar sign lockout men hook a brother up you know what i'm saying give me some coffee that's what i'm saying well in today's episode man we are going to talk with white city logistics i think i called it white house <laughs> i think i called it white house let's let's get the tablet out uh Let's get the tablet out to see what this uh see what this company is about. You know, I should already I should already have this stuff ready for you guys, but you know me, just you you know me, just just follow me, man. You just just follow me. Just know that that I do this uh that I do this for you. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Okay. Unfortunately, city. Uh, let's see. Uh, there we go. All right, here we go. Uh, loading, 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 loading. Ah, here we go. Here we go. See, I'm I'm bringing it up. Don't don't worry. See, I'm gonna I'm gonna edit all this dead space for you guys. Don't worry about that. So, oh man, now now you want to be slow, man? What the hell? Like really, bro? Really? I mean, you was fast as fuck when I was on here, but excuse my language. But um, you know what? Let's forget the tablet. Let's let's bring this up on the. Let's bring this up on the on the on the big screen here. We're gonna bring we're gonna bring this up on the uh on the big screen here. And uh let's see. And both of you guys, we can all see it together. White House or I'm sorry, White City Logistics. They are a over the road company. They operate in 48 states. Uh, they're based in Illinois. Uh, they have ground shipping, contract logistics, and counseling. Let's see what they let's let's see what they was about. They are let's see. I already said that. Uh, they started in 20, uh, 20, 2009 in Chicago. After a test period, company pay, uh, prioritized on transport and logistics in 2011 they added the dba name white city logistics and start expedited division with sprinters and cargo vans all right
All right. Now, as far as the, as far as like giving you guys information on what they offer, they really don't say anything on their website. As you can see, it don't it don't say anything. It says you want to become a driver. Just fill out the application, and they'll contact you. Uh, they're the carrier of the month. Uh, they are a five-star carrier. Uh, here's their gallery of trucks right here. That's their office, all that good stuff, and their contact information. So they're, they're located out of Bensonville, Illinois, and if you're interested in White City uh, Logistics, you call this number right here, which is 872-888-1800. So of course, um I found this company via uh via Facebook. Uh somebody was in the Facebook group and they, you know, they 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 didn't like it. They they didn't like this company. They didn't have nothing good to say and one of my subscribers was like yo lock out man why don't you uh why don't you give white city a call to see what what they're about now see when i called and talked to the young lady i from what i gathered uh it, it was kind of hard talking to her because of that thick accent that she has but she did explain to me about uh about you know about the company uh how the companies run and stuff like that she wanted to get me up to uh, Illinois by way of plane or bus, and I told her bus was out. We we don't do buses no more. Bus buses is is zilch zero. If you got to take a bus to these major companies out here that that want to bring you on, you should really consider if if you if it's something that you like, drive, and just get reimbursed for that. You know, if they're gonna reimburse you for a bus ticket, then just take that and just call it a day. But uh, but bus, we're out, we're out. Um, so without further ado, all right, we're gonna just jump right into the call. Hey, Steve. Okay, okay, okay. I like I said, I had to uh, I had to pull over uh right quick at a at a truck stop because I was driving when I. Uh, spoke with you before. Is this the is this the same young lady I was talking to earlier? What's your name, Mason? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we have me. Okay, 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 okay. So, um, I I came across you guys in a in a Facebook post, and um, and I was just uh, kind of wondering, uh, you know, a little bit more. Uh, about the company here um you know what you guys what what you guys can offer so um i think you guys how long do you have i'm sorry how long do you have cds now well i i i had my cdls for five years how how long you guys okay, been and how, how is your record my record's good how how long you guys how long you guys okay. been in um how long you guys been in existence? Like, how long you guys been around? Um, so I would say around 12 years. How? I'm sorry, how many years? 12. 12 years? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. And you guys are located where? Out of, out of Chicago or Illinois? Chicago, yes, close to the uh, O'Hare Airport. Okay, okay, okay. So if I was to if if I was to come uh come aboard, uh I'd stay in Ohio. So how would you guys get me out there for orientation? Uh, we need to check first your records, and uh, if everything is okay, it's clean, then uh, we we can send. Where do you live? Hold on, what do I what now? Where do you live? I stay in Ohio, Cleveland. Ohio? Okay, so that's your hometown. Yes. Uh, we can we can send we can book a flight ticket. Okay. If you prefer to fly or bus, 
I mean, it's up to you. No, we, and, uh, no, we're, we'll, not, we're not doing bus. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. But, um, so we can bring you here, finish all paperwork, and uh, finish with orientation. It takes, like, I'll say one day. It's less than that. And um, you will sign all paperwork. We will explain you everything, what we expect, how everything works. Uh, you will talk with me. I will do all orientation with you, all process, paperwork. You will talk with the fleet manager also. And uh, he will explain you the dispatch part. And basically, that's it. Okay. So all, all that doing, uh, all that doing one day orientation, huh? Okay. That sounds, uh, that sounds pretty good. What, what you guys, uh, what you guys offering a five year driver for myself? Uh, what, what will my, what will my CPM be coming in the door? Okay. So we're, if everything is fine, so, you know, your record is clean and we can accept you, we can offer you 60 cents per mile. I'm sorry. How much per mile? Oh, 60 cent per mile. Okay, that's that's 60 cents. No, uh, no, it's out the gate. It ain't no incentives included or up to or anything like that. It'll be 60 cents per mile, me coming in the gate, right? 60 cents for empty and loaded miles. Oh, okay, okay. Um, you, you, you keep. <laughs> As far as my record goes, you you're you're talking about my MVR, right? MVR and PSP. Oh, okay, 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 okay. MVR and PSP. What about uh, your criminal? Uh huh. What about your criminal record? Do you have anything? Uh, nah, <laughs> my background's clean. Okay. <laughs> but it, let me ask okay, you. Okay. But and, let, let me ask you this though. Yes. Uh, if I was a felon, if I was a felon. Um, would that hinder me from coming in? If you are what, I'm sorry? If I was a felon, like, what's your policies on felony, uh, guys with felonies? If I was a felon, would that hinder me from coming in? You mean felony? Yes, felony, yes. Guys... Well, what did you do, and what I, happened? No, I didn't do... I didn't do anything. I'm just saying, what is you guys' policies on a person that might... I need to check with insurance. That, that That's the big thing. I mean, if you had anything before in your past, when you had it, because it is one question on the quick application. Did you have a DUI, felony, oh, okay, okay. drug or alcohol? Okay. Well, I, I was I was asking like if you know I don't have none of those. I you know my my as I said before my background is clean when it comes to uh, when it comes to that. But I was just saying, what if a person has that on their background? Would that would that hinder them? In that case, we won't be able to hire you. Okay, 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 okay. Um, so we we accept only clean drivers, so clean records. Okay, okay. Uh, will I be coming in? What lanes that I, I'll I'll be doing? Would I would I be coming in as an OTR driver, or would I be coming in as a regional driver? What, what would I be coming in? And road. We operate over the road. Oh, uh, okay. So what would I be pulling? Like what freight? What type of freight? Freight refrigerated, dry. We have dry vans. So we have only dry van trailers. So dry load. Okay. Do you guys require hazmat? No. Okay. Do do I get paid more for do I get paid more if I have hazmat? No, because we don't hold hazmat. Oh, okay. Okay. I I was just I was just wondering. Some you know, some some companies do uh pay a little more for, for drivers to have uh you know, their hazmat on there. Um sixty cent of mile, that sounds uh that sounds pretty cool. Uh what how how much? How long you can stay on the road? How long? You asking me how long do do I stay on the on the road, or how long will I stay on the road? How long you can stay? Yes. Uh, well, I mean that de that I guess that will probably depends on you know whatever my situation is like. 
you know, if I have something, you know, that's that's that needs to be done, then yeah, I, I don't want to stay over the road uh, too long. You know, I want to have my, you know, I want to have my home time. So I, I say, uh, I say like maybe uh, a week on a, on a good, uh, you one know, week. Yeah. Like, you know, a week and then have my weekends off, but I'm, I'm kind of thinking, I'm kind of thinking that being that you guys is over the road, you, you might not be able to get me home every week. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm, yeah, and I'm, we won't. Okay, okay, but I, I, I will. I eventually will get home to do, you know, my home time. So you guys, what, two weeks, fourteen days, or something like that? Four weeks. Our drivers are staying on the road, and then they're taking one week off. You, you talking? You, you talking a month, and they only get four days off? No, one week off, so seven days off. Oh, okay. Do they still get Do they still get paid for that week off? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, they're paid per mile. You don't have salary. You are paid per mile. Yeah, I I can't see myself taking uh taking the full seven days off without, <laughs> you know, without nothing coming in that following week, but uh. Of course, we can break it up. Of course, I, I, I'm assuming that's how they do it. Um, I, what kind I don't of, know. Think about it and let me what, know because what kind you can of, stay what ki- maybe three weeks on the road. Oh yeah, I, I can last, do. Oh, I can. I can do. Don't. Oh, don't get me wrong. I can do it. I, like I said, I've been out here for five years, so I, I can rock it. That ain't no problem. Uh, what kind of equipment? Um, being that you guys want us to stay out for that long period of time what kind of equipment that you guys offer and what amenity and what amenities inside the trucks trucks are fully equipped and we have volvo trucks all right volvo's and what With microwave fridge oh okay so mike so you say it got it comes with a microwave it comes with a refrigerator inverters and all like that yes oh okay okay uh, as far as uh, as far as the computers, because you know I'm used to I'm used to uh, Qualcomm and you know people that wh- we have keep tracking. You have you have what now? Keep tracking. Keep. That's for logbook. Oh, okay, okay. Um, as far as uh, as far as dispatches and stuff like that, do we come across? Do it come across that computer that you have in the truck, or is everything is emailed and we do everything by email and stuff like that? Email, text message, whatever is easier for you. Okay. Do we get paid extra for for using our personal phone for for that? We have tablets. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you you I would get an assigned uh. I would get assigned a tablet and everything would come through there then, right? Yes. Oh, okay. 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 Um, White House Logistics. Okay. Um, I, I do have, you know, you know, you, you you know, I, I do have this, this grinding question to ask you because like I said, I found you guys on, on Facebook. And um, mm-hmm. and the reviews for you guys are not pretty. I mean, some of the drivers, I I guess, and you know, you know, you can't, you know, they could be disgruntled, you know, any anything po- possible probably could have happened or something like that. But I mean, if you got more than one, you know, down talking to company, I. I have to I have to sit back and put that in my consideration as well. What do you say about you know about drivers that's that's given a bad uh given a bad rating on Google or on Indeed and stuff like that? What do you what do you say about what do you say to contradict that? Which review? I mean, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Well, like I said, there's there's a couple of reviews here on on Facebook. Um, it, it, 
in one sentence it says that you guys you know make up lies you guys keep money uh y'all overwork the drivers another on i mean you can you can ask our drivers they're driving for us let's say more than three and four years so yeah we had we had of course i mean drivers are different so if they do something wrong and they if they're making mistakes and making faults and they're not following the rules we will penalize them so then when we do that and they're informed about that on orientation they're signing papers so if they don't follow the rules they'll be fired hmm. we are doing everything by the book i got you by duty and we are not we are not allowing drivers to do whatever they want they need to follow our company rules okay. if they don't like it that's okay. I mean, that's why we're talking on, on orientation and explaining everything. Right. And that's why so and that's, that's why we like to bring drivers here and explain everything, you know, face face to face and I will show you the whole paperwork and you will see. So you need to read everything and sign. Hmm. And they sign. So it's really easy. I mean, it's nothing to hide. We're very really really open to talk about everything. So we're not hiding anything and and I, you know, I, that's why we bring it I appreciate that. You know, like I said, that that's why I do. That's what I do what I do, because, you know, I, I don't want to I don't want to waste your time and waste my time by coming by coming all the way out there and then come to find out that, you know, this is not what it was supposed to be. And then I wasted my time and then I get stuck out there because you guys. Only no, we, I don't out like there. that either. Of course. Right. I understand. Yeah. Right, and that's why I'm. That's why I'm doing my due diligence. You understand? You understand that I I do got to put every. You know, I got to put everything in its place. You know what I'm saying? And when I see, you know, maybe one driver that's that's talking bad about the company, I can, I can probably understand that. But when you got, you know, like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, whoa, like, oh, okay, well, I gotta. You know, I, I gotta also consider that in my in my decision making process as well. So, but I do appreciate of you. Of course, uh, you need to do your research. I I do appreciate you uh you you uh you know t uh commenting about that because you know I I was doing my homework for another company and I asked them the same thing and they was you know they they wasn't straightforward with me as you was so I do appreciate that. Um. All right, so 60 cent a mile, um, Volvo trucks sounds pretty good, but you Volvo know, like, trucks, right. yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll I'll put this in consideration. I'll take all this information back with me, and uh, and um, mm -hmm. and yeah, I will um, I will I will see what's sure. Think I'll about it up. and call us back. I sure, appreciate. No it. Well, thank you, thank you very much for your time. No problem. You're welcome. All right now. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. White House Logistics, everybody. <laughs> so what do you guys think? What do you guys think of the call, man? What do you, what do you guys think? Do you, is, is White City Logistics uh, a company that you might be interested in? If so, definitely give her a call and... Um, and talk to her more about what the company, I mean, what, about what the company can offer you. Now, as far as as far as everything that I like about it, um, I, I like the fact that it's sixty cent a mile. But as with with everything that's when you get a high CPM, you don't get the miles to go with that. So be wary of that. That a company can offer that amount for i mean that amount for you but you got to make sure that you get the miles now if you are over the if you're going over the road with this company then you're going to you you should generate three thousand miles you see what i'm saying you should generate three thousand miles to get a good paycheck uh what i didn't ask and as you guys could see what i didn't ask was is this a 1099 company um because majority of companies out of Chicago 
out of the Chicago area. You know, I pretty much call them black ops companies. But they're the also they're they're also the only companies that would give you uh give you a second chance if you have any situations. In this case right here, uh they look closely at your background. So if you have a felony, a DUI or or reckless driving or anything like that, uh she said that you're not gonna come on and you gotta you just pretty much gotta keep looking. Um what else uh you gotta be you, you you gotta be willing to stay out uh they want you to stay out for like she said uh, a month four weeks and then you come home for a week all right so you pretty much will break that down because if you come home for a week of course you're not going to get paid extra and another thing that i didn't ask which i know you probably can you know, being that if you're an over-the-road driver anyway, uh, I, w I didn't ask if you could take the truck home. But I don't, I, I, I think you could because they're an over-the-road company. Their, their trucks, uh, Volvos, Volvos is common. You got the refrigerator, you got your inverter, you got your microwave. So they're going to keep you, they're going to keep you, uh, they're going to keep you pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? White City Logistics. So what do you guys think? Let me see. Hold on. So what do you guys think? White City Logistics? Yay? Nay? Is it a go? Let me know in the comments below. You know what I'm saying? If you're interested in White City Logistics, make sure you give them a call. Let me see if I can pull their phone number back up. Their phone number is 872-888-1800. White City Logistics. All right, well, that's it for this episode of Lockout Men Podcast, the MTC edition. If you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button for more. I'm just saying, if you want to know when I come on or you want to know when the videos come out, you got to hit that all button to be the first to get it. If you want to help a brother out, you know what I'm saying? Because it takes work to vet these companies. If you want to know about these companies, send me an email. That's lockoutmanpodcast at gmail.com. Or hit me up in the messenger because I'm there. I'm there. If you're part of the LOM community, then you, you woof me on Facebook. Or just head over to uh, Instagram and hit me up in the DM over there. If you have any questions that you want me to ask these companies... Let me know. Let me know about that. You can leave that in the comments or in the Gmail or in the DM too or in the messenger. I would get back. Yo, as I said before, this takes work. YouTube is not paying me and I'm not getting a sponsor. I'm working on one, but not yet. So I want you guys, you, you guys, help your brother out. Hook me up with some coffee. The coffee app is in the description. The, ca uh, the cash app is in the description. That's dollar sign. Lockout me. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for listening. I do appreciate it. And then until next time, I will come back with another video. Y'all stay chill. Y'all stay blessed. Peace.